Hey guys, I just want to do a video here on how to install the Rotary Geeks 12 amp ESCs I got from RotaryGeeks.com. I went with the quad four pack, which came with one BEC and three ESCs. Uh, the kit all together was about 65 with shipping. Um, so yeah, so the first step, you know, obviously is to take your quad apart, unsolder all the power, uh, unsolder your motors from the old ESCs. I was using the APRO 12 amp ESCs, which were complete garbage. Uh, I fried a couple of them on my 4S LiPo, even though they said online that they can run a 4S. Don't believe it. So I'm using the 3D spacer set that I got from um, RC Groups. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to pick that up. Uh, it really helps for a nice clean build. You can tuck all the wires in, into the body, um, keep everything out of the way. So yeah, just uh, thread everything through. Make sure you have enough slack to reach your flight controller. Also, make sure you have enough slack to, to reach your power board, uh, wherever that might be. doing all the soldering I might as well throw on a couple more LEDs because you can never have too many right so I'm gonna put uh, two strips on the wings and one on the power board on the bottom of the quad to kind of help with some orientation when you're flying overhead uh, I'm also using the Turnigy on off switch I got from Hobby King um, which works really well with my Tyrannus uh, radio it's a really easy setup and uh, if you need help with that you know post in the comments and I'll, I'll try to help you guys out um, with the wiring, but you can see here um, positive goes to the power board and the negative on the LEDs goes to the on off switch uh, negative being the red wires here, positive being the black Alright, so the quads all put back together now for the most part, get the arms on so next step, we're gonna uh, remove the ESC wires. Uh, in this clip here, you can see that I was I was planning on keeping the wires on the ESCs and, and soldering them to the motor wires, but I decided to remove the ESC wires and do a direct solder of the motor wires onto the ESCs, just for a cleaner build, and, you know, for less weight and uh, less chance of losing connection. So I got everything tightened down now. The LEDs are on the front and back. I'm going to make sure the motors are all tightened down now and then uh, we can begin removing the wires from the ESCs. Uh, so I had a little bit of a problem getting the, the wires off the ESCs so what you can do if this happens is put a little more extra solder on there um, and then you, know, you should be able to pull them off. Alright so next step would be to solder the motor wires directly onto the Rotor Geeks ESCs. Uh, the order doesn't matter. A uh, really great thing about these ESCs is that they come with a USB programming uh, cable on every ESC. So you, I'll show you later in this video how to reverse the motor direction, which is a really nice feature. So yeah, just uh, make sure you have a nice clean solder, get all three wires on there, uh, and then we'll move on to the next step. So at this point, I soldered up the uh, LEDs to the Turnigy on-off switch. Um, positive goes to the Turnigy on-off switch, and then negative goes to the power board. Uh, and then your negative wire from the Turnigy on-off switch also goes to the power board. And then I also decided to put some liquid electrical tape on all the uh, solder points just for a little more uh, weatherproofing. Alright, so now we're going to solder on the uh, negatives from the LEDs. Alright, 
put a little more liquid electrical tape on there. All right, so there's the uh, on-off switch I was talking about. As you can see, red is the negative, black's the positive. Doesn't really matter. You guys can switch it if you want. Um, yeah, so like I said, the negative, which is the red, goes to the power board. The black, which is the positive, goes to the on-off switch. So got some like electrical tape on my um, ESC power wires. So everything is nice and protected from the elements. All right, so time to test out the LEDs. Let's go ahead and plug in your battery and then uh, flip your on off switch, whatever you have it set for. Uh, this actually worked for me first try, which is pretty awesome when that happens. As you can see on the bottom, I got some ground effects. I put uh, blue LEDs on the bottom and on the front of the quad, and then I have a uh, red LED on the rear of the quad. I was gonna put LEDs on the, uh, the rear wings on the bottom, but um, my, my X8R antennas are actually getting mounted there, so there wasn't enough room. Alright, so now it's time to do the vehicle setup wizard with the CC3D ground control station. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade because I've already upgraded my, my flight controller. You're going to select PWM for these uh, Rotor Geeks ESCs, Quadcopter X, Rapid ESC, then you're going to want to calculate, uh, but make sure your quad is level before you do this. your props and you're going to hit start, plug in your battery, you should hear some beeps, wait for the beeps to stop and then you're going to hit stop on the uh, ground control station setup wizard and then go ahead and unplug your battery after it you hear the last beat. Alright, next step is the output calibration for each motor. So again, uh, just make sure your props are taken off so you don't chop your fingers off. Um, and also make sure that your battery is plugged in for this step. Just make sure, also make sure that there's no wires or anything that can get caught in the motor. Alright, so you're going to hit start on the ground control station and then drag the slider over until your motor starts spinning at a constant rate. And then you're going to hit stop and then hit next and go on to the next motor. Just make sure to take note if a motor is spinning uh, in the opposite direction that it should be and then just throw some electrical tape on there to mark it so that we can go in and reverse the motor direction um, on the BL Heli Suite app. Uh, that works with the Rudder Geeks ESCs. After the output calibration, uh, you're going to select Blackout Mini H for your default settings, uh, or you can do your own customization. But this one seems to work pretty well for my ZMR250. 
All right, the next step would be to do a transmitter setup wizard. I always recommend doing this anytime you make any changes to your quad, uh, just to be safe. You know, the last thing you want to do is get out to the field and realize that your, your rudder is reversed or your aileron is reversed because, you know, bad things can happen and they have happened to me. So just be careful with that. Um, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail on this, but if you guys need help with the transmitter setup wizard, there's a lot of really good videos out there. Um, if, or if you have a specific question, you know, leave a comment below and I can try to figure it out for you. Like I mentioned before, uh, you can reverse the motor direction on these ESCs, which is a really cool feature. So you want to plug in um, the ESC to the USB drive. Uh, just make sure your black cable on the ESC line up with the black cable on the USB drive. So you're going to want to open the VL Heli suite and connect, and just flash the VL Heli, the Turnigy Plus 12 amp multi. Select OK. Select yes. It's going to write to the ESC, and then once you see that success, you hit OK. Um, and then you actually do want to overwrite, do you want to write the current settings to the, uh, the ESC? I hit no, but make sure you hit yes. Um, if you if you do hit no on accident, it's okay. You can just hit write setup, and it'll write the setup that you have on the current window. All right, so we're gonna do a motor reversal on my front right motor. So you're gonna hook it up to the USB drive. Uh, go ahead and open up the BL Heli Suite. And you'll see a box that says motor direction. Um, so all you wanna do is put it in the middle and make sure it says reverse. And then another thing you can do is also name your ESC just so you can keep track of which one you're working on. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit right setup make sure it says that it wrote and then hit OK and then disconnect and you're good. Another really great feature of these ESCs is the beacon delay. Uh, you can set this up in the BL Heli Suite and you have a few options. You can set the beacon strength which is, I believe is the, uh, the loudness and then you can also set the beacon delay. I set mine to two minutes because if, if my quadcopter is, you know, sitting for more than two minutes without any activity, you know, I, I probably want to be be al alerted. Um, this feature is really helpful if you lose your quad in a bush. You know, after it's sitting for two minutes, the ESCs will start beeping, and it's, it's pretty loud, so you should be able to hear it, you know, from 50, 50 feet away or so. And just make sure you write setup, and then click OK, and you're good to go.